Hi, Tracy here with BibleJourneyMinistries.com and in this video I'm going to do a review of the latest art set box called The Seven Species. This is box number 13 and if you are looking for an amazing deal on it, don't forget to use the coupon code in our description which gives you an amazing deal. If you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have a special guest today. Mm -hmm. His name is Lonnie. Say hi, Lonnie. Hi. <laughs> so Lonnie is going to be here doing the review with me. He is going to be our taste tester because today I am intermittent fasting. So <laughs> I need. <laughs> and I am happy to volunteer to be a taste tester. <laughs> okay. For those of you guys who know about Artsa, Artsa is a wonderful quarterly subscription box that you get with products from Israel. And these are all locally sourced in Israel by small businesses. So if you'd like to support Israel, um, I would highly recommend you consider purchasing one of these Artsa boxes or a subscription. They are amazing. It is my favorite box to experience Israel every quarter. I get to just you know dive right and dive deep into all things Israel I get to smell I get to taste I get to feel uh, they just have all the senses covered in this box and I just can't say enough about how much I love it so the first thing that you see here is our card so we get a card every month that tells you a little bit about uh, what is going on in the box it talks a little bit about the farmers this time um, as well as uh, a verse which is Deuteronomy 8 8 so if you guys are familiar with your Bible you'll know that that Deuteronomy 8, 8 features the seven species, which are, if we read it here, the land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees, and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey. So we can expect to see some of these things in our box today. I'm super excited. Then you also get little cards as well, including a recipe card. So here you'll see here that I have, this one is a postcard and then there's this thing called crispy chick chicken schnitzel which i think sounds amazing and i'm definitely going to have lonnie make that because he is amazing at cooking mm -hmm. and then it just tells you a little bit about everything that is included here all the seven spices spices a uh, space species species not spices mm -hmm. <laughs> and then a little bit about some of the businesses so i'll go through these cards with you as we unbox this wonderful box here so let's go ahead and open it up it always includes you know a cover here and it includes a sticker so just gotta rip that sticker up here and open it to reveal all the deliciousness and beautiful things that are included inside. Now this here is a premium box, so it is a little bit of an upgrade, but you always get an extra, which I think is super fun to, to experience. So again, it's not that much more, but it is a little bit more and it's totally worth it in my opinion. All right, let's go ahead and get started with some of these fun things to try. Okay, so let me just move this out of the way. So this is seasoned breadcrumbs for the schnitzel. So what you're going to do with this one is you're going to take the recipe card here and you're going to use this breadcrumb along with the uh, all-purpose flour, the chicken breasts, the uh, schnitzel mix, which is what I have, additional breadcrumbs, salt, coarse black pepper, and lemon and Dijon mustard. So simple really really easy ingredient list here and pretty easy instructions too to make something super delicious for your family so i'm going to go ahead and look at this and open it but before i do there is a verse here psalm 81 16 where it says but you would be fed with the finest of wheat with honey from the rock i would satisfy you and some of the ingredients here breadcrumbs onion garlic flakes paprika mustard seeds black pepper white pepper, turmeric, hyssop, parsley, coriander, dill, oregano, wheat, and mustard. All right, so let's try it. It's Lonnie. Smell amazing. Yeah, it's I'm gonna let you smell it. <laughs> I'm gonna let you smell it first. So come over here. Oh yeah. Oh, oh that does smell yeah. good. You can smell the, oh, yeah. the dill and the mm -hmm. turmeric. Yeah. What else do you smell? Hmm. I'm gonna let you it's taste like the, it. Yeah. What else is it? Mustard. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely, Mustard. Yeah. You can definitely Anything smell else. that. All right. I'm going to give you just a little bit. Okay. It is a. It's a seasoning. It's so a it's seasoning. Really Breadcrumbs, too, right? Yes. What do you think? Oh, yeah. That's going to be really good on. 
on this chicken. chicken. I know. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, we should make this tonight, but we already have hamburger out, so yes, this will have yeah. to be tomorrow. Yeah. But that. That's so a great season. You really like it. I like it. Okay, yeah. super. Yeah. Thank you. That's good for chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely good for chicken. He said. Probably maybe even for pork too. But all right, let's see what else we have in the box. So I'm just gonna check my cards real fast to see if there's a listing in the box. Oh yes. Okay. So and I want to make sure that if there is an artisan, I love to share with you guys if there's an artisan. For that particular item so for this one there's a pomegranate and uh, trivet we have the facial mousse and then we have the green olives so that will be for the local artisans here um, on the cards this month okay so this one here is called a date spread and let's see it include it says indulge in luscious sweetness with our date spread so date spread can be used on a lot of things i like to use it like on top of cream cheese um, for a you know nice sweet taste to it and you add it to your crackers um, but you can put it on toast and things like that as well so and you can make things out of it so I'm gonna grab my spoon here and just give Lonnie just a little taste of that mm. and let me know what you oh, think yeah. of it oh that's rich yeah, it does it taste like molasses kind of mm -hmm. to you? Yeah, yeah, I always think it tastes a yeah. little bit like that. So this yeah. is manufactured in Moshav Kandesh Barena in Israel by Desert Magic, it says, exclusively for Artsa. So this is exclusive. Um, and it included their dates, honey, sugar, vinegar, and pectin. Yeah. Very big. Taste all of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It says, after opening, please um, refrigerate the product within 30 days. So what you would you probably, use that for? I'd probably put it on meat, too. Like like, a, ah. you know, like, a, like what kind of meat? I, I like chicken, chicken or pork. Like, uh, like, oh, like light meat, yeah. It'd yeah. probably be really good on a, like a, a pork chop. Okay. Well, yeah. there you go. That sounds delicious, like too. Said, I like the cream cheese would be great, too. Yeah, okay. Um, the next thing is the Za'atar olives. So let's... That was one of the artisans. Did yeah, so this one here, I think it's this one, Crushed Green Olives. And it is from Sidyana store. Sidyanya is who makes it. And so you can actually grab your card and learn a little bit about um, Sidyana. And um, just talks a little bit about her and her business and why she created this. So I love these cards um, because I think they are amazing. So hopefully you guys cool enjoy that too. too. Yeah. Uh -huh. like a heart. The tree. Oh yeah, the tree does look like a heart, doesn't mm -hmm. it? That's cool. Um, so in these it says, Sidiana's fair trade olives are lovingly made as part of a joint collaborative project of Christians, Muslim, and Jewish women in Israel in the hills of Galilee using traditional methods passed down by generation to generation. Harvest sustainably from century old Surrey olive groves. That's cool. Oh, wow. The olives are picked, pickled in water and salt and contain no chemicals or preservatives. Mm. So uh, let's give it a try. This is Surrey, it says green Surrey olives are cleaned of dirt and damaged fruits. Well, thank goodness. Yeah. The olives were soaked in water and salt solution, packaged, vacuumed, bagged with grinded za'atar leaves and sesame. Mm. Store in a cool, dark place, it says. It may be, contain a pit or a fragment, a pit fragment. Oh, so it. be careful yep. if you're eating them. I love this because this is like how I would package my right, stuff yeah. with the zipper Ziploc bag with the vacuum seal and it's not perfect, right? You see, it's like not, it's like <laughs> kind of, you know, I just kind of vacuum sealed it. That's my life and I appreciate that. And that's how you can tell these are, you know, locally, you know, this is not a manufactured product here. This is not something that a big company has put together. This is a small business and a small Israeli business that you're supporting. So Lonnie's gonna oh, be our yes, taste oh, yes. tester again. <laughs> I'll be cautious of a bit. <laughs> I gotta say though, I do like green olives. I know you do. Oh, those are good. Yeah? There is a pit. There is a pit, okay. Very good size. 
a good size bit, so don't be careful if you're yeah, eating don't, them. Don't chomp right into it, but those are tasty. Yeah, okay. Strong. Yeah, and, and in the description here it says, savor the fresh flavors of the Galilean mountains with the delicious, with this delicious typical Israeli herbal mixture. Yeah. Za'atar olives. Much better than like, you know, like in a jar of green olives. Definitely. Much better than that? It feels fresher. It's not as soft. So the, 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 uh, the flesh on it's yummy. Pretty good. Awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Yay. Sold. Sold. <laughs> All right, so then we have here, this one is the Fig Leaf Candle. Oh, oh pretty. that is pretty. So this is a beeswax candle made from natural beeswax and cotton wick. It's made by Israel Candle in Ifrat, Israel. And it comes with a little beeswax here. Maybe it should be like this. Right, and when you're burning it, you can burn it, and it has a beautiful leaf here. It looks like a grapevine leaf, but it's a fig leaf. That's cool, let me smell it. Okay, it just smells like beeswax. You wanna smell it? Mm. So this is made. Yeah, it does like it's sweet almost. Sweet. sweet. It says this fig leaf candle is molded from the bark of a local fig branch. This natural be beeswax candle will nourish and calm you after a long day. Boy. That's Don't we all need that? Yeah. So that is your fig leaf candle that is included as well. Also, everything made in Israel. All right. The next thing I have for you to look at is the Gentle Cleansing and Face Mousse. Um, this is enriched with wheat and barley protein. So again, with the seven species, we are getting them, which is really cool, in each of these products. So let's go ahead and open this up and smell it. This is from The Gift of Nature, and it is a family-run boutique that offers fine natural cosmetics made in the village of Ba'al Ayin. I'm sure I'm messing that up, I apologize. Um, nestled in the historic Judean Hills. Judean Hills. Our products are made with love and manufactured using ancient techniques. Each of our creations has a deep connection to the land of Israel and benefits both the body and the soul. So this is a cleansing face mousse. Let me get that going. There we are, that's what it looks like. Oh yeah, Ooh, that smells amazing. Wow, so you have face, so a novice here, face mousse is like face soap? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, so you would use this to clean, cleanse your, it's, it's a gentle one, so you would use it to gently clean your face and you just spray a little bit on, you know, your hands. Just to, I would do just a one or two little um, spritzes of it or spray, you know, compressions. And then I would just kind of rub it on my face and then wash it off. And this yeah. one has a a lavender and rose yeah. smell, but it is enriched with wheat and barley proteins. So let me just kind of get this off my hand because it's stuck there. There we go. But yeah, I can see that it would be a nice, lovely cleanser. Now this one um, it comes with a card. So this is Shlomit. Shlomit. And so it just tells you a little bit about her and her family, it tells you a little bit about her experience and her mission, um, and uh, a little bit about herself here. And it just says, you know, how to enjoy this as a morning or evening cleanse. Just beautiful. Isn't that just beautiful? Yeah. So there's that one. And put that back in the box. That is, I'm going to have a lot of fun using that. That's going to be, it smells like a spa. So if you ever walk into a spa, that's what this smells like. So what is this one? I think that's your tray. You think this is the tray? Yeah. Or this looks more like a, a tray. A plate. Okay. So I'm supposed to have a pomegranate trivet. Oh, that's the pomegranate trivet. Okay. So that's what oh, this that is. All right, so this must be the bamboo tray. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. go ahead and keep looking. Because again, we open these boxes in front of you. I don't look at these boxes when they come in uh, so that you see exactly, you get the exact same thing I get. <laughs> you get the exact same spirit experience I get. So this one is a trivet. So mm. it, it does say it's a trivet. And it does say that it's a, here it says it's a pomegranate glass trivet. 
those are probably representative of pomegranate. Yeah, and then here's the yeah. picture. So we, we got the right one. <laughs> so this is the pomegranate trivet. Oh, so nice. let's open it up. Here. So what do you use trivets for, guys? Well, you can use them to serve. Um, you can use them to put hot things on, although I'm not sure I would do that with this because it's so beautiful. I wouldn't want to damage it, but you could. You could put a little bowl. I would think a really beautiful little bowl here with some, um, you know, a little bit of uh, dip in there with a little bit of uh, crackers around it would just be really beautiful. But this is a gorgeous trivet. So this trivet is, um, let me just make sure this is part of the regular box. And this one says Hedera is about Hedera. So it tells you a little about her, about her family and her heritage. And she talks about the, the biblical significance of this, uh, uh, the pomegranate and its deep rooted connection to the land of Israel. So you can learn a little bit more about her. It says how to enjoy to beautify and enhance your table with this beautiful pomegranate glass trivet. So again, it's by Hadiera. You can read her story with the card here. All right, and then we have this. This is actually the bamboo. Tr we believe this one is the bamboo. Yes, I don't think you have an artist card for that. I do not. So this is the seven species bamboo tray. Does not include the artist card. See, this is why you're here to help keep oh, me on hey. track. <laughs> I appreciate you. Oh, yeah. My pleasure. Thank you. So it, they say it's bamboo, but oh, I don't really know. It doesn't feel like bamboo to me, but... It's, it could be sealed, though. Yeah, it could be. It's not... It, take him at the word. Yeah, I'm totally going to take him at the word. <laughs> I totally am. I just... It's just interesting. And we get um, some products from this um, Yara Manuel. They have sent us many products in the past in the boxes. And I love that. It tells you a little bit about the artist who lives in Jerusalem. It just talks a little bit about um, his work. So you can learn a little bit about Yar Emanuel here. But this is titled the Seven Species Bamboo Tray. Now, this is the one that you can use. You can put your olives on here mm. and you can put your crackers and your cheese. But I love that it has all of the different yeah. seven species that are representative of De Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 8 that we had already read. It's a nice size too. Yeah, it is a pretty good size. I mean, I can imagine I could you could yeah. probably put the mm -hmm. whole not that you would, but yeah. you could fit the whole thing on there. I mean, for size, I mean, put your little date spread on there, mm -hmm. you know, put, put some in there or put it in the middle. I don't know. I, I pour put a little bit. Put it on the cream cheese, put the mm -hmm. cream cheese there with some crackers. Yeah. yeah, you totally could do that. That's amazing. Okay, and lastly for the premium subscribers. Uh, for the premium subscribers, that's where you're going to get this special so this here is called the Frame Seven Species Artwork. It is not the bamboo tray. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even so, though the frame does look more like bamboo than the... I agree. <laughs> thank, you for, thank you for giving me that. Yes. I appreciate that. Um, so this one says, enhance any room's beauty with this ex exhibit piece of exquisite piece of art. A labor of love. Each piece is meticulously handcrafted by the incredibly talented Noah Atayas. Let it serve as a constant reminder of the bountiful blessings bestowed on us by God. So um, I'm going to guess that, you know, this is inclusive of Deuteronomy 8.8. 8. Um, but if you guys know more about how to read, you know, all of this, let me know. I'm, I'm still not quite up on that, but I would appreciate if you guys know exactly what this said, put it in the comments. It would be really helpful over here. But in general, you guys, um, what I do with these things, you know, for these questions that I have, I would take this aside and I would start to do my own research and start to look up each of these letters and build the, the words here so that I knew exactly what it said. And then I would hang this in my house. So that's what I do. I take all of these wonderful products. I take them back to my house. A lot of times I'll share them with friends and family so that they can experience Israel with me. And we will most definitely be doing that with the delicious initial chicken mm. that Lonnie's going to be making. Oh, yeah. So I hope that this video was helpful. I hope it encouraged you in any way. And if you do want to support Israel during especially this really tough time, Artsit is a great way to do it. I'll leave the link and the bonus 
and a discount for you in the comments below. I highly encourage you to check it out. And if you like these videos, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> All right. And don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.